Hey guys, Sabrina from The Karate Shrimp. Today I'm gonna walk through a beginner's bow kata for you. It's called Ten Yo No Kon. So it's Ten Yo No Kon, like ice cream cone. Anyway, this is the very first bow kata that I ever learned in Meibukan Gojiru Karate. It's also the very first weapons kata I learned. What I'm gonna do is show you full speed. I'll run through it once at full speed. And then I'm gonna show you at a slower speed uh, and show you from four different directions. And then lastly, I'm gonna walk through the whole thing really slowly and explain what I'm doing step by step. Can you come? competitions in basements that are carpeted, you know, and have like TVs and stripper pools. Sorry, architectural feature pools and couches with sharks on them. It's a little awkward. No. 
So now I'm going to walk you through it slowly. Uh, so the bow, my bow is thicker in the middle and tapered at either end. And these bows, they come in half foot increments and you want your bow to be a little taller than you. So I'm five foot two, five foot bow is too short. So I go for the next size up five and a half feet. The way you hold your bow, imagine cutting it into thirds and you have one hand here, one hand here. Your right hand is palm up. Your left hand is palm down, the whole kata. Some advanced bow katas, which I'll show you in future videos, you actually switch your grip, okay? But you don't in this kata. You keep your hands here the whole time. You may have to slide your hands around to make some moves easier, but just don't take your hands off the bow, okay? Okay, so now we're gonna start heels together. You're gonna put your bow up to the right here, and you're gonna tuck it under your armpit. You're gonna let go. Put your hands at your sides. And now when we bow, little trick here, don't bow like this. Just like really bad. Bend your elbow, okay? And then try and keep the bow more or less stationary. It just looks better. Okay, heels together, bow. And then we announce the kata, ten yo no cone. So ten yo no cone, you got it. And then you're gonna reach underneath here with your left hand palm facing forward, grab the bow, and then you're gonna turn it over, keep turning, keep turning, keep turning until your left hand is up against your right shoulder, okay? And you might need to bend this elbow a little bit, adjust your hand a bit. You don't want the bow down touching the floor here. Okay, and then left foot steps up. This is your ready stance. So now step one, you're gonna step forward with your left foot and you're gonna do a sweep. And with this one, you're hitting the bow on your upper arm right here. If you have a hard time hitting your arm, your arm, your hand might be too high up, so just slide it down. So you hit right here, and you're pushing the bow out in front of you. Step two, you're gonna make a muscle. So you don't want your hand here. You're not punching yourself in the head. Make a muscle like this, okay? Step forward with your right foot, you're gonna do an overhead strike. So you're gonna, the bow is gonna end at head level, and your right hand, when you do the strike, you want to turn your hand so your palm down, okay? So if you have your hand palm up, you could lose the bow, right? So palm facing down. Your left hand is going to actually hit your belt, okay? So like there, okay? So it was one is sweep, two is strike, three. I'll show you three and four together, and then I'll walk you through it slower. So three, you're going to slide back and block on a 45 degree angle here. Four, you're gonna step forward and strike. So I'll show you the footwork first and then I'll show you what I'm doing with the bow. So you did step one, sweep, two, strike. So now what you're gonna do is three, you're gonna step back with your left foot and then slide your right foot. And then step four, step forward, slide your back foot. So you kinda do like a little, I picture it like you're a zombie dragging your foot. Okay, so you can practice this a bit. Again, both these moves are on a 45 degree angle. Okay, now add the bow. So remember, right hand palm up, left hand palm down. So we were here. So step back. And as you do this, you're gonna swing the bow to your left and block like this. So it looks like this, swing. So like you're rocking a baby, I'll do it from the back here. Swing and block, okay. So we go slide back and block to the corner and your bow is out in front of you like this. And then step four, you're gonna make a muscle, step forward and strike, okay? Now, step five, you're gonna turn. So you're totally sideways here, you're squared up this way, but your head is facing the back and the bow is gonna to point to the back. So from the side, it looks like this. So my whole body is squared up. So I hold the bow on an angle like this. So you're sliding through your hand, poking someone who is shorter than you. I'm five foot two. So this is a really small person that I'm poking. So five, step five, poke down. Step six, you're gonna step forward and do a strike. And now the next 
Four moves are a repeat of the last four moves. So you're gonna do that slide back and block. This is step seven. Again, we're at a 45 degree angle. Step eight is you're gonna step forward and strike. Step nine, you're gonna turn sideways, looking at the front, poke. Step 10, you're gonna step forward and do another overhead strike. Okay, and step 11, you're going to step forward with your left foot and do a sweep, just like in the beginning. And then step 12, you're gonna pick up your front foot, your left foot, and tuck it behind your leg, so it looks like this. Okay, like a stork. And you're gonna bend your knee a little bit for balance. So we were at where? Nine, 10, 11, and then 12. You're gonna poke down. 13, step 13, you're gonna slide back and block over here. So we're on a 45 degree angle again. Step 14, you're gonna do, make a muscle here, step forward and strike. And of course I'm dragging my foot there. So I went like this, slide back and block. It's the same two moves, a slide back and block, step forward, strike. It's kind of a pattern. So we were here, let's show you this again. So poke, strike, sweep. Someone's texting me, poke down slide back and block, step forward and strike. Okay, and now the next two moves, just move over so you can see. You're gonna lunge forward in Zen Kutsudachi and you're gonna poke to the corner and here I'm hitting the bow under my armpit. And then what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna pivot my feet. So I'm, I'm facing the front, so I'm here, pivot, and I'm just gonna bring the bow here and hit myself on the arm. So it goes forward. So you can practice this a bit, this is my favorite part. One, two, one, two. Okay, so that's step 14 is this, using my top. Step 15, you're gonna step forward and do an overhead strike, okay? And now you're gonna do three pulls and pokes. Just back up so you can see. So you're gonna pull the bow back and then you're gonna lunge forward in Zen Kutsudachi and do a poke. Now what it looks like from the side you pull back, your right foot is gonna hit your leg by your knee, so with the, with the sole of your foot. And then you're gonna pull the ball back behind you. And as you do, and then you're gonna lunge forward, sorry. As you do, you're gonna try and keep the bow from doing this. You don't wanna do this. Try and keep it as parallel to the floor as possible. So what you do is you rotate the bow like this. Kind of spin it, okay? So you go pull. Poke one, and I'm hitting under my armpit. Pull, poke two, pull, poke three. Okay, and when I'm here now, oh yeah, and there's a key right here, so you go three pokes. Hi, yeah, hi, yeah, that was a squeaky hi, yeah. And now what you're gonna do is you're gonna stand up, and you're gonna do a slow spin. So pull up over your head. You're gonna take a step behind you, or towards the back, and then you're gonna spin and take another step behind you with your left foot. And as you land, you're gonna land on your knee, on your left knee, you're gonna do a strike and hit your belt with your bow. Can you see me here? And now the end here, let's get a little closer, dragging my back leg. You're gonna take your right hand, bring the bow to your left shoulder, and then you're gonna whip the bow across. And as you do this, you might wanna slide that hand to make it easier. This is kind of awkward, but if you move that hand, it's easier to whip across like that. So you go, so we landed here, bring the bow up to your left shoulder, slide it across, so you're hitting right under your shoulder here. And then you're gonna make a muscle and do a final strike. And here you're hitting your belt again and this is the last move of the kata, so hold it for like three seconds, make it look good. And then to finish, you're gonna bring your left hand to your left shoulder, step up, heels together, push the bow across, and now we're back like we were at the beginning. Turn the bow over, tuck it under your arm, let go, hand at your side, and bow. So that's it, now you've learned Tanya no Kone. Thank you for watching, don't forget to like, subscribe, and share, and have an awesome weekend. Best part of weapons, dropping it on the floor.